Hey guys, it's Steve from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video, and welcome to Pimp My Card Episode 3. Today, I pimped out Bartolo Colon. He will go on my Moneyball Monday team after this game, but I kind of pimped him out for myself. So today's challenge with him will be, I have to face my main team with plus 10 Bartolo Colon, and ideally strike out everybody I face. Now, is that realistic for actually happening? No. But we're going to see Bartolo pitch to my main team and see how things go. It's kind of interesting. I just showed while I was talking about the challenge how on my main device where I was playing with Bartolo, the game was already loaded in, but on my secondary device, it's not very good for gameplay. And where I set my main team to just auto hit the whole time so i'm facing an ai with bartolo what ended up happening is it took the game longer to load in so when i was looking at the stadium my opponent which was also myself wasn't even in the game yet this first at bat was a little bit weird but i got the fly out for some reason it made both me and other me autoplay but now i get back to controlling bartolo on the main account i wasn't exactly sure where to put the cutout but i'm gonna have both screens side by side most of the time bartolo pitching is the bigger screen and at points i will make my other team go full screen but we did get the first out via the flyout we now have a one two count here with one out and boom we get the strike out for out number two Bart's first strikeout in the first at-bat where I truly controlled him. So we're off to a good start. We're off to a very good start, for sure. And we get the first strike with two outs on Chris Davis. And we get Davis to follow it back for strike two. With the 0-2, we're going to try to set up a pitch that he'll swing at, but... Despite having an I rating in the 80s for Chris Davis, he's not going to chase much of anything, unfortunately. Boom, even though we throw a normal pitch, the changeup fools him, and we get two strikeouts. We're on to the top of the eighth. This is all about Bartello's pitching. And now he gets to face John Carlos Stanton. Gets him to follow the first pitch off. Like I said, I'm going to move that second screen around a little bit. You guys... If you can let me know where you think the best location is of the three or four different spots I go with, I definitely appreciate that for future content. As we now have a 1-2 count to John Carlos Stanton, and he grounds out to second. So not a strikeout, but you know, still a weekly hit out. And what was really frustrating about facing my own team, my own team would not chase anything out of the strike zone. It's like the 0-1 here to Jorge Posada. I'm going to try to throw the two-seam, try to get him to chase. No, he's not going to chase. And it didn't matter if the I rating was in the 80s. or I mean, certainly some of my players have higher I ratings, which makes them more likely. And there, Posada gets a single on the 1-1 pitch. There goes the no-hitter. I was thinking, well, Bartolo, if he throws on the corners, these guys aren't supposed to be able to hit the corners super well. Because with auto contact, players hit the middle of the zone better, and when you get to the edges and to the corners, you get weak contact, if any contact. Boom, two outs, just Posada on first. So at this point, it's like, okay, maybe that's just a hiccup. Maybe we'll, we'll get out of this and just give up a fluke hit. But Ozzy Albu says, no, you're going to give up another hit. You're going to be lucky that Posada doesn't score here, and it's second and third with two outs. So that being said... With two outs, I'm one out away from getting out of things. I'm also facing a nasty hitter in Nelson Cruz. He takes that change up for strike one that starts and stays in the strike zone. So I throw a two-seamer that starts and stays in the strike zone and gets fouled off. I'm going to go two-seamer that starts in the strike zone and goes out see if it fools him. No, it will not fool him. I'm going to do it again, see if I can get him to chase the second time around. No, I cannot get him to chase. I'm going to go the four-seam fastball up and out. And it just misses, so it's a full count now. I for some, I threw the two-seam fastball alone away, 
And boom, it gets blasted to center for a three-run home run on the auto play, auto contact. Are you kidding me? So now I'm down 3-0, facing Ryan Braun. I'm going to start with just a strike in the zone, get him to foul it off. Then I go slider low and in. He fouls it off again. So another 0-2 count. I'm going to do the changeup that Cruz took for strike one. But Braun, unlike Cruz, blasts this to left. And like Cruz, he hits a home run to make it now a 4 nothing ball game. The frustration's definitely setting in at this point. I still have to face a legend now in Jim Edmonds, which is no easy task, but I do get strike one. Again, my team, for some reason, has proven to be extremely capable to strike hitters, and they somehow never swing at pitches out of the strike zone. Like that changeup missed by a fraction of an inch, and they didn't even think about swinging. I do get Edmonds to ground out to third, limiting the damage to four runs. Now head to the ninth. My offense didn't do anything in the bottom of the eighth. I was trying with my offense, but not that hard, and that was not the focus of the video. We're facing Hanley Ramirez to lead things off, and we quickly get ahead 0-2 on Hanley Ramirez. I'm going to go the four-seam fastball, or no, the changeup. Sorry, I'm doing post-commentary, and I misidentified my own pitch. But now the 1-2 slider, and that gets blooped for a single to right center. Blackman does get to it quickly to keep it as a single. And now we're facing Chris Davis. We get strike one pretty quickly, pretty easily. Now here we go. And the AI calls for a steal. Hanley gets second. Davis thrown out at first for out number one. It was interesting how intelligent this AI decided to be. In this instance, when I've played really unintelligent AIs in past perfect inning games that are ranked, never mind this is an exhibition. But anyways, now we're at a 1-1 count. Two-seamer misses just low for ball two. Going to go the slider low. Fouls it back, so we have a 2-2 count. I'm going to go the changeup. Just kept hoping the changeup would freeze him up. Boom, fly out to center. And this is really strange. So Hanley, you see him go back to second, but he's also at third. So he was at both second and third at the same time. He ends up at third. No runner on second with two outs. But what the heck was that? Definitely some kind of error in Gameville's animations. But then we do give up the RBI single. I do believe I was facing Jorge Posada. Who made it a 5-0 ball game? Yes, that was Jorge Posada. And now facing Nolan Arenado. I get strike one. I'm just hoping to limit the damage in the ninth to one run. And Arenado hits it on the ground. This should end the inning, but he's going to beat it out for an infield single. Which is just my luck. The AI is going to finesse and get an infield single. I do mess up on that pitch to Albies. Thankfully, it's off the plate, so there was no way he was going to chase it. Then the oh, or the one zero two seam fastball is hammered to right center. That's a two run double that makes it seven zero. So Bartolo had a rough outing, which he's had some of those in the last year or two. As much as I hate to admit it. Now we get to face Nelson Cruz. Just trying to get out number three here, but Cruz is going to go deep for the second time in the ball game to make it a 9-0 lead for my Viking squad against the Moneyball squad. And we still have to face Ryan Braun, who homered in his first set bat. We can't get him to chase the first pitch. There's nothing I really wanted to do more than get these guys to chase a first pitch. I get him to foul off the slider for strike one, make it a 1-1 one, one count. He fouls off the changeup to make it a 1-2 count. So we're going to go the four-seam fastball low and away. 
And we do get the wheat ground out to second to control the damage. We scored a couple runs in the bottom of the ninth, but we lost 9-2. to two. Bartolo struggled, but he will be on the Moneyball team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. In the comments, let me know what did you think of this episode challenging myself running the plus 10 Bartolo Cologne through the gauntlet. Are you looking forward to seeing more of him in the Moneyball team? Let me know as well. well. That's all for this video, guys. MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, peace out.